Hey, welcome to the channel. Fun project this week. Uh, I'll be working on a secret bookcase door that leads into our family movie room slash gaming room. Um, I've had this idea in the back of my head for a while that I wanted to create a just a secret door into this space because it's kind of a cool space. Also, I have two just, you know, young, imaginative boys that love building forts and hideouts, and I thought this would be kind of a cool novel addition to our house. I had initially looked at some of those kits online, uh, you know, the Murphy doors, things like that. I just, I didn't like the way they looked, and this was a kind of a custom space, so I needed a custom fit. Um, also, they were kind of pricey. I was able to do it for around $100 or so, maybe a little more. You right back there, Bess? So if you want to see how I did it, follow along. If you like this kind of content, stick around, like, and subscribe. That way my wife lets me do more of this kind of stuff. But anyway, let's go, let's get it. So I wanted the door to actually be deep enough that we could store books and things in it. But I also needed the long side to be able to clear the wall when it opened. So I did have to bust out a little bit of high school geometry on this one. And this is my least favorite part, ripping down all my sheet goods. I ended up building a two by four frame uh, on the inside of the box just to give it more support. I uh, made sure it was completely square so I didn't have any issues with, with it sagging or rubbing against the wall. And I had some twisted uh, wonky lumber from Home Depot that I had to straighten out. I mounted a three quarter inch plywood plate to the um, studs with lag bolts and uh, deck screws so that I would have a really strong, sturdy base to mount my hinges to. I did a test fit on the door just to make sure that my math was right. All right, we got the test fit in, Let's see how she works. Close fit there. So to hide the two by four framing, I had to sandwich it with two pieces of quarter inch. One was just white yucca board, and then the back side I used plywood. And here I'm adding diagonal braces just to give it extra strength and to prevent it from ever sagging since it is going to be so heavy. I had these doors left over from another project. Just dry fitting everything to see if I can get my measurements right here. A uh, technique I recently learned was to use blocking 
uh, instead of trying to measure each individual shelf. And this way you get uh, way more accurate um, distances between your shelving. And this is a lot easier when you go to install your face frame. Took a little break from the build to uh, do some sword making. So I ended up using six heavy duty door hinges because this thing was pretty heavy by the time everything was said and done, uh, especially when there was stuff in it. Apparently, he put them all backwards. So, I did a boo-boo. I installed it upside down. It's pretty they're in there. Yes. A few extra steps here since I mounted the hinges on the wrong side. These were some doors that we pulled out of a remodel that we did. I'm a fairly novice woodworker, and this was the first time I've ever pre-built a face frame. And to be honest, it's probably the only way I'll do it from now on. Uh, it really upped the look of the final product. It looks super crispy clean. I used uh, pocket holes with uh, wood glue and a clamp. The face frame was about a sixteenth of an inch wider than the than the uh, bookcase, uh, and it was rubbing on me, so I had to go back in and remove some of it. I cased the door in so the reveal was the same on both sides and it would hide the gap that was on the left-hand side. I found these cheap uh, magnetic door catches that work pretty good to keep the door closed. So I ended up adding a piece of baseboard to the bottom of the bookcase and in order to get it to swing right I had to notch out the bottom section of the trim. That's going to be a problem. I built a handle to pull the door open when you're on the inside. I 
I used a couple coats of primer and then sanded it before paint. I really wanted to create a contrast between the crisp, clean white uh, bookcase and then on the inside, just a dark, moody, kind of speakeasy vibe. What's up, boy? I painted the doors a flat black. I had some dark stained bamboo flooring left over and I put it on the ceiling. This was leftover select pine that I used on the face frame and I stain it uh, with a dark walnut color. What's up guys? This is a movie room. We got a wiggle set, Zelda, Dora's hammer, Infinity Doppelin, and the one and only Captain America shield.